everybody, it's Mickey, and today we are back in the kitchen with some more fall freezer meals. So I heard from so many of you about how much you enjoyed that last freezer meal video. So today I am back with some more great recipes and I'm going to show you how to package these meals for the freezer to get the most out of all your hard work. So to get started, we are going to be making our first two meals in the crock pot. In this first crock pot, we are going to be making creamy chicken and wild rice soup. Now what I did to help me out this morning is last night before I went to bed, I chopped up all my ingredients and prepped everything. So this morning, all I have to do is fill my crock pots and head out the door. As always, all the ingredients for all the recipes that I'm going to do today are going to be in the information bar down below. Now for this soup, you're going to need, the recipe only calls for about three quarters of a cup of these ingredients. I have increased it, at least doubled it if not tripled it. I just like to put a lot of good stuff into my soup and make it nice and chunky and delicious. So. This is a whole bunch of celery, probably um, a whole bunch of celery chopped, about a pound of carrots chopped, one medium chopped onion. I have about six cloves of garlic minced, a couple bay leaves. I have a generous cup of wild rice blend. Here I have about two tablespoons of Mrs. Dash, the original. I have about a tablespoon of dried parsley. I have um, a tablespoon of a mixture of Italian spices and I have salt and pepper really to taste. I also have here about a pound and a half of skinless boneless chicken breast and I have um, two 32 ounce packages of chicken broth. So I'm gonna mix this all up and get this crock pot going. Add all of your ingredients to your crock pot, mix very well, set your crock pot on high and cook for about five to six hours. And over in our second crock pot, we are going to be making some chicken ranch tacos. And this is a super simple recipe, no prep needed at all. All you're going to need is a can of chicken broth, a packet of um, ranch dressing mix, and a packet of taco seasoning. Now I like to use homemade ranch dressing mix, which I did a video on, and I will leave a link to that video up above somewhere. And I also make my own taco seasoning, which is a very simple recipe, and I will try to leave that down below. Now all you need to do is in your um, chicken broth is mix your packet of ranch dressing and taco seasoning, Pour it over your chicken. Set it on high for about four hours and put the lid on it and you're pretty much done. The next two recipes I'm gonna share with you, one we're going to be having for dinner tonight and the next one I'm gonna be bringing to a potluck tomorrow. But these two recipes absolutely can be frozen. Probably 95% of all recipes can be frozen, so you should keep that in the back of your mind every week when you're cooking. Make a little bit extra to stick in your freezer. So this is going to be chicken tetrazzini, and for this you're going to need about three cups of cooked chicken. You're gonna need some chicken broth, a package of linguine, salt and pepper, six tablespoons of flour, six tablespoons of butter, about a cup of mushrooms, a cup of green peas, a couple tablespoons of fresh parsley, some red pepper flakes, a little bit of minced onion, about a cup of half and half. I like to use the fat-free half and half. You still get all the flavor with not as many calories. Um, and then you'll need about a cup of Italian style cheese and some rich crackers that I smash up and put on the top. Cook the pasta according to the package directions and melt your butter in a large saucepan. Add the flour and mix well to make a roux. Let this mixture cook for about a minute and then slowly start to add the chicken broth, mixing well with each addition. 
When the broth is all added, let this cook for about two or three minutes to thicken up and then add your salt, pepper, red pepper flakes, and minced onion. Remove from the heat and add your half and half. In a large bowl, mix the cooked pasta with the peas and mushrooms. Add the chicken and the prepared sauce. Add some Romano cheese and the fresh parsley and mix very well. Prepare a 13 by 9 dish with non-stick cooking spray. Pour the chicken mixture into the pan, cover the top with shredded cheese, crush about 8 to 10 rich crackers and sprinkle on top. Cover your casserole dish with foil and bake at 375 for about 35 minutes. This next recipe, nacho casserole, is truly one of our family favorites. It's super quick to put together like on a Saturday afternoon and you could even bring it to parties and things like that. So what you're going to need for this recipe is about three cups of tortilla chips that you're going to crush, about a cup of uh, freshly chopped tomatoes. I like to use the little grape tomatoes because they are always super sweet. You'll need a can of black beans. Uh, about two cups of salsa. I like to use the picante sauce. It's just my favorite. You're going to need two cups of sour cream, some Mexican cheese, about two cups, a half of a chopped onion, a small can of either chopped or sliced olives, and about a pound or so, I think it's about a pound and a half of ground meat. You could use beef or turkey. I always use ground turkey. In a large pan, brown your ground meat. When it's cooked all the way through, add your salsa, can of black beans, and a cup of yellow corn, which I may have forgotten to mention before. Prepare a 9 by 13 pan with non-stick cooking spray. Layer the crushed corn chips on the bottom of the pan and cover the corn chips with the meat mixture. Spread the container of sour cream over the top of the meat mixture. Sprinkle with tomatoes and olives and shredded Mexican cheese blend. Cover it all with foil and bake it at 375 for 35 minutes. Always spray the inside of your foil before covering your casseroles. This will help keep the cheese from sticking to the foil when finished baking. By now our soup is almost ready. You want to remove the chicken to shred, cover it with foil and keep warm. In a small saucepan, melt three tablespoons of butter and add about a half a cup of flour and mix really well. Slowly add two cups of milk and cook for a few minutes until it thickens. Add the shredded chicken back to the pot and add the milk mixture. Mix well and continue to cook until the soup thickens. When soup is done, let cool and add to your freezer containers to be frozen. Our ranch chicken tacos are all done cooking. At this point, we're going to remove the chicken and shred it. Pour off about half of the liquid that is inside the crock pot. Once the chicken is shredded, add back and let cool. To freeze, divide chicken into portions and add to a small Ziploc bag. Add these small portion bags into a large freezer gallon size Ziploc and freeze. I wanted to take a few minutes and just share with you how I package up these meals. Freezer meals for us last anywhere from about, you know, six weeks to two months. With these containers, you can share them with friends and family, and then you don't have to worry about getting your containers back, and they don't have to worry about making sure they return it to you. Now, the other things that I use a lot are these foil containers, um, especially for little casseroles. I think that they're great. They make a smaller portion so that you can get a little bit extra out of your recipes. And what I do with these is I double and I triple wrap them in tin foil. Before I bake them in the oven, I take at least two layers off and I bake it that way for half the time and then the other time I just remove the foil completely and let it bake for the last portion of the time without any cover on it. So the other type of foil containers that I like to buy other than like the casserole size are these pie plates. I think these really come in handy just during the week for our leftovers that we have with our meals. I still tend to cook for 
a large amount of people so we have a lot of leftovers during the week and I use these to freeze them to make you know like our own little homemade um, TV dinners from way back when and I just take some foil and I fold it up to create sections within the pan so here I can put like the entree with the two sides I cover these all up with a couple layers of foil and I stick them in the freezer using Ziploc bags really help you portion out your meals I like to use these when I make like barbecue chicken that Hawaiian chicken that I made a couple weeks ago and I'm going to use it to store my um, my ranch chicken taco meat I like to portion it out let it cool completely squeeze all the air out and I will double bag it with another smaller bag and then I will put all the portions into a large freezer Ziploc bag. So these are the different ways that I prepare my freezer meals for the freezer. It really does help keep them fresh and it helps me make the most of my leftovers and it does you know give you the opportunity to share a meal with a friend who just might need it. I'm going to do our next meal and that is penne melanzana which is a recipe that my mom used to make a long time ago and melanzana is just the Italian word for eggplant. It has a lot of really good stuff in it. There's parsley, onion, uh, you can use ground beef, I like to use ground turkey, um, shredded Italian cheeses, of course an eggplant and a zucchini, some crushed red pepper flakes, a can of um, fire roasted diced tomatoes, a can of just regular um, tomato sauce. You can use regular penne or these little mini ones. I like to use the minis. I just think that they, um, they hold the sauce really well. And you're going to need um, some Italian spices, a little garlic powder, salt and pepper. Of course I'm going to leave the full recipe and the information um, down below. So the first thing I'm going to do is wash and peel my eggplant and get all my veggies chopped up and start browning my meat. To get started, cook your pasta according to package instructions and then chop your eggplant zucchini and onions and saute in a large pan until the veggies are tender. Remove the vegetables from the pan when complete and brown your ground meat until it is cooked through. Add the vegetables back into the pan and add your diced tomatoes, tomato sauce, and spices. Add your cooked pasta and mix well. Add about a cup of shredded Italian cheeses and mix well. Fill your prepared dishes with the mixture. Cover the top with shredded Italian cheese. Cover with foil to freeze or you can bake in a 375 degree oven for 30 minutes. So after all that cooking today, tonight we are going to have for dinner the nacho casserole. I like to serve it with a side of shredded lettuce and Spanish rice and I always like to put a little bit of guacamole on top. So thank you all so much for watching today. If you are new here, I hope you will subscribe. I put new videos out every week about all things home. So until I see you in that next video, I hope that you love the life that you have and I will see you again soon. Bye.